Right guys, this is officially it. I'm about to be locked in this tomb for the next 12 hours. It was supposed to be 24, but I'll explain the reasons why it's 12 hours in a second. So right guys, my mate's gonna lock me in now and I'm gonna see him at half 12 tomorrow. So, if this video does go out, <laughs> it means it's gone well. Um, if it doesn't, thanks to everyone who supported the actions and movements. So, bro. Yeah, man. We're ready. Lock her up. Yeah. Right, see you at half twelve, bro. Half twelve tomorrow, half yeah? 12. Don't let me down, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, I might be asleep. <laughs> I'm not joking. See you soon. Right, see you soon. Have you locked it, yeah? Hang on. <sighs> see you later, man. guys so um I'm just gonna try and sort of show you around I don't know what the camera view is gonna be like so as you can see that's where I've just come up from there used to be like a toilet see the toilet in there that's gonna be my toilet for the night so what this basically is is an ROC post which was used about, I think it was from like the 1950s until like 1991, and it's where the military defence would like basically stay here, and they'd look for, well, like just look out for nukes, I guess, nuclear bombs and stuff during the Cold War, um, and since then it's just been sort of vandalised. It's been burnt out. I'll try and show you on the camera. So. You can see where the electrics used to be. I'll give you a proper tour of the place as we're going through the night, but um, just to sort of explain, I was supposed to do 24 hours down here, but unfortunately I had no 4G signal and no signal, so if anything did happen, I, I couldn't ring anybody. There's nothing I could do. Um, not only that, obviously if there's a fire or something, I can't get out, the hatch is locked. Uh, locked and there's quite a bad like chemical smell down there don't know if it's anything to do with like the fire or anything like that but i can't imagine it'd be too good for my chest if i was to spend 24 hours down there but i'm basically sleeping there for the night and i hate spiders and honest to god guys there's massive spiders here um i have no food and water um i literally have a torch and a battery pack for the phone so I don't have any sleeping arrangements <laughs> anything like that so sort of wish me luck guys um, I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty nervous about this it wasn't too bad when my mate was there but now that it's gone it's like what do I do It's pretty scary, actually. Right, I'll tell you what. Since we're going to be here for the night, let's at least try and make some sort of living arrangements. Don't know what the... Uh, Alright, guys. I'm going to try and move some stuff about. Let's try and make some sort of seating area to sit down for it and sort of compose myself because I'm not going to lie. My head's all over the place at the moment. I can just, I can just feel things all over me and it's just not nice. Right, guys, I'm going to check that with you a sec. I'm going to uh, try and sort out a little seating arrangement and sit down, see you in a sec. Alright guys, so it's been just over half an hour now. Thirty eight minutes. I managed to sort of like like make like a seat. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up very well but just found like this log. I was in the middle of the room. 
I'm just sort of sitting on that. I'm going to try and sort of like show you around the room while we've rapid ease. So it's quite messy. There's not. It's not really glamorous. It's not exactly a travel lodge or the Hilton Hotel. Let me try and zoom in a bit more over here. But it is my room for the night. I do apologise if the camera quality is a bit poor. It's pretty um it's pretty sort of dingy down here. And it does feel like these batches are slowly running out on this torch as well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's usually a lot more brighter than this. It normally bright up the whole room. So Some reason there's a cone in here. Might be able to do something with that. Yeah. Let's take a seat like that down there then. So guys, basically with me the spiders are not really like bothering me that much as much as I thought they would. Like, I do hate spiders, but it was sort of initially just getting down here. I think it's because it was all like all over the ladders and stuff. And now that I'm down here, I've not felt anything on me as such. But we'll see as the night goes, I suppose. But it's only been what like what, forty minutes, so there's still a long way to go tonight. Um, yeah, I guess speaking to the camera is sort of like the only thing that's sort of keeping me without being bored, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's quite freaky down there, I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was a good beep, so. It's 17 minutes. 17 minutes past two. Don't know if you can quite see it. It's a bit back to front, but 17 minutes past two. Been in here for just under, just under two hours now. It's pretty cold as well. I'm not gonna lie. Don't know if you can see that. Don't know if you can, but it's freezing. Pretty on me now as well. <laughs> Normally you'd be a fucking asleep at this time when you're in bed at home, but instead I'm in a freaking shelter. Absolutely fucking starving. Freezing. But it's just the boredom, if anything. It's just, there's nothing to do. I don't want to move things about because I know there's massive tarantulas hiding underneath. It's one of them. Just makes you think like you can hear things. I'm not like scared of like ghosts or anything. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't think they're real, but just the thought of like being locked in here. It's just a bit freaky. Like imagine if somebody like opened the hatch. <laughs> Fucking. Batches are definitely going in the torch as well. I can. It's not as bright as it normally is. There's no way it's going to last all night. It's got to last another ten hours. Mm. I'm tired as fuck. But I think sleeping's all equal. Equation in here. 
na mladšie vestelu. Sám. Ona. Kinoľka. Občas som mi že nejsem z... Bola na ove návukol som ho na spolzie. Čo sa ho pohorie zomrieľ. Was that something like to me? I don't even have like music on my phone or anything. Everything's done through like YouTube and stuff like that, so just in case I've been bored. Yeah. I swear to God, it's fucking well scared me down. <sighs> Fuck one sec. Phone and then brought the fucking charge for all the battery. Maybe not my way. For fuck's sake. I've actually got the whole fucking battery. This battery's probably gonna last about. Fucking 32 minutes past four. <sighs> Guys, it's getting on top of me this now, I'm not gonna lie. I need to save the patch here. I'll check back in a couple of hours. <laughs> We've actually um <laughs> made up a few hours. I don't know how to do it but I um see if I can sort of show you. But there's like a thing here, like a cabinet and <laughs> I was just chilling out. Luckily I managed to um about I think maybe two, maybe three hours sleep. So um I don't know how I did it to be fair. But I guess when you're tired no sleep anywhere. Honestly. Because my battery was really low as well, all it is is I have to turn my phone off and then if I feel like it's getting too much, I turn it back on again and it just makes me feel like when the camera's off and the phone's off because of the battery is, I'm not going to lie, it's really, really scary down here. I'm not going to lie to you, it's fucking so mentally challenging. It is. I don't know if you can see, but there's just nothing. It's just a black room. Nothing in it apart from spiders and you know, fucking beetles that I've never even seen and I've been all all, to all types of places, all types of woods and stuff and fucking on stuff I've got to do. So it's kinda of explain how scary it is. It's I don't even want to turn the torch on and look around the room, I just wanna sit here and just stay here until I have to have tomorrow. but it's 8.43 in the morning, 8.44 even now, is it? 8.44. Oh, basically about 3 hours and 45 minutes to go and then we're done. How's it going guys? It's about 9 o'clock now.
Only a few hours to go. I'm just mentally drained now. Just want my bed. I just wish I could just lie down, but it's just spiders everywhere. I just can't be dealing with them anymore. It's freezing as well now. It's literally freezing cold. I managed to go for a piss in the toilet before, which is a nice one. That was a nice relief. The first and only piss that I've had here all night. It's like I can hear noises as well. It's it's really weird. It's like don't know. It's either cattle or rain or summer, but it's just. I like to think it's rain or cattle. It'll put my mind at ease. I guess. I don't know what it is, but just to try and like put you guys in this situation, because obviously all you can see is me. On the camera, but mentally, this is like I'd, as an example, like if you were just in a room alone with no food and water, fair enough. But this is like it's like a fucking tomb, it's full of spiders, beetles. It's like a mixture between something like I'm a celebrity slash David Blaine. <laughs> I'm a celebrity, get me out of here slash David Blaine. It's fucking. It's absolutely crazy, but like mentally, it's, it's, it's fucking challenging because it's just scary. It's, you're just locked in a room. Anything, I mean, I'm not expecting anyone to come and get me, but it's just the thought of it. It's just, I'm really, 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 really feeling it. There's only a few hours to go, though. I've literally got about three hours, three and a half hours to go. <sighs> Guys, I need to say this battery is literally on about 9%. It's going to go. I've got to somehow salvage the next three hours, but... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's fucking absolutely... It's fucking scary. Actually getting excited now. <laughs> it's like when, as if you've been like stuck somewhere and you know rescue is coming, you know the help's coming. It feels like I've made the call, the 999 call's been made, help is on the way. <laughs> actually, genuinely feel emotional knowing that in less than 60 minutes, my mate's gonna be here to unlock that hatch. Fucking hell. What an emotional roller coaster this has been. Guys, I hope, I really do hope that when I finished all this editing and it goes out on Facebook, I hope that this has a true reflection of what I've been through tonight. To sort of recap everything, I've probably had about two to three hours sleep leaning against the cupboard. I've eaten nothing. I've drank nothing, which to be fair wasn't the end of the world because it's during the night. You normally sleep at that time anyway, so it's not that bad going by the food and water. It's more of the spiders. After a few hours or so, I got used to them to be fair. I think they just, it was a case of if I didn't bother them, they wouldn't bother me. But it's more of the mental thing. This is something that I've, this is far from what I do. You guys know the overnight challenges. Sneak into places, do all types of extreme kind of urban stuff, but this is like, this is me for me. This is mentally, mentally, mentally draining. I wish that you guys could really, really feel how this has been because there's no way that, I don't know, it's like when it's like the first time I ever went to the top of a mountain. It was the views that you get is absolutely unreal. It's beautiful. You can't explain it till you've been there, and until you've actually done something or seen something with your own eyes, that's when you actually get the true reflection of how something is. And 
if you could be down there, just having the balls to come down here for a minute, let alone 12 hours, I'm telling you. So, guys, if any of you feel up for this, message me, leave a comment, I'll bring you here. You can be my guest. You can attempt to spend 12 hours down here locked. I'd love to see somebody do it. Not that you won't be able to. I'm sure a lot of you out there are very, very mentally strong, but it'd just be good to see someone do it and actually have them go through the mental stress that I've gone through for the past 11 hours because I basically can't explain it to you. You know, it's some, the sleep's nothing. I'm sure anyone can stay awake for so long. It's it's the fact that it's freezing. It, it's a scary place. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. The hatch is locked. I just can't explain it. You guys need to come down here. And if you lot have enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it. Let's show the world exactly how fucked up and crazy I am because this is fucking fucked up. Guys, it's been an emotional roller coaster. I've loved absolutely every minute of it. My battery is gonna die any second now. I'm gonna keep it rolling until it goes off, just so you guys can get the last few minutes of my journey. I just can't wait to see my mate's face. <laughs> it sounds so funny, doesn't it? But. <laughs> as soon as he opens that hatch, I'm gonna run up them fucking ladder. That's an horrible beetle, let me see. <coughs> Let's see if I can get this beetle on the camera. Don't know if you guys can see that. That's the sort of stuff that I've been sleeping with. To be fair, I used to have a massive, massive fear of spiders when I entered this place, but now it's sort of just like, I, just, I don't think I'll actually be scared of spiders again, you know, things to my face. But guys, we've currently probably got about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, until the help and the cavalry comes. I can't thank you all for your support, everyone that's watched this video. Every message, every comment, every like, every share. Thank you so much for all the support. There's a lot to come in the future on this channel. There's loads and loads and loads and loads of loads of things to come down. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Unfortunately, me being down here, I'm not as bubbly and stuff as I normally am. But it's generally because I'm really, really out of my comfort zone here. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how scared I was down here. It was probably a 10, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't care if anybody says, you know, this guy's a fucking girl. Nearly crying on the camera. Scared out of his mind, but at the end of the day, guys, we've all got fears, and when you're sat in your bedroom or your living room, or you're sat in the car, or wherever you are when you're watching this, and you think, oh, I'd fucking smash that, it'd be nothing. Send me a message, and I'll bring you here. And I can guarantee... When you're locked in a tomb for 12 hours with nothing but spiders and creepy crawlies, you'll understand. Because it is fucked up. What are you saying, guys? Oh, we enjoyed that video. It was absolutely fucking insane. Peeps, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It was, f it was horrible. It was. It was all clummy and claustrophobic -ish and spiders and insects and maybe a few ghosts or anything like that. You never know what could have been there. But, guys, honestly, that was fucking mentally draining. That was something else. That It's going to be a while before I'm doing something like that again. I can tell you straight. Um, but thank you so much for everybody that watched. All the support is absolutely through the roof, so thank you so much. Um, there's quite a few things coming up in the future, so stay tuned. Um, something's going down this Sunday. I keep you posted whether it's going to be a live one or not. Um, guys, just thank you so, 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 so much. Honestly, every time a notification flashes up and it's you guys, it 
the fire in my belly just keeps on going. So thank you for everyone who's took the time to write, to comment, to share, to like, to watch. I know everybody's lives are really important and there's not enough hours in the day and there's not enough minutes in the hours, there's not enough seconds in the minute. So guys, for every second that you set aside and you basically give to me by viewing me or sending me a comment or a like, it is so much appreciated. Believe me, everyone, guys, big up the support. Um, hoping to get some new merch in the next few weeks. Uh, we're going to have some Urban Sherman t-shirts and some caps. Uh, the first lot of merch that's going to be landing, it is going to be given away. So guys, if you're not following me on Instagram or you're not on my Snapchat or my Facebook or my YouTube, that's the only way you're going to get some free merch. Uh, but apart from that, guys, keep up. If this is the first time you've seen this face, guys, this shit is going down as much as it possibly can do. Whether it's an overnight challenge or whether it's a sneak in, whether it's been locked in a tomb for 12 hours, whether it's climbing a crane, a building, or a mountain, or a caving, whatever, something serious is going down. Um, guys, once again, if you're not following the actions of the movements, click that subscribe button, click that friend button, click that follow button, and thank you so much for everybody who's put the um, support in. Guys, there's loads of different variations on this channel. Please, 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 please keep up the support. Hit that share button if you like the video. Hit the like button. There's more coming. Thank you once again. Urban Sherman, over and out.